Tired of dealing with annoying flies, fruit flies, and gnats in your home? The Zevo Flying Insect Trap is your ultimate solution. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description now to get your Zevo Flying Insect Trap on Amazon and enjoy a bug-free home today. Kansas City Chiefs kicker Harrison Butker sparked controversy after making comments about gender roles and the LGBTQIA community during a graduation speech. Butker, 28, served as the commencement speaker for Benedictine College's graduating class in Atchison, Kansas on Saturday, May 11. During his remarks, the athletes singled out the women graduates. For the ladies present today, congratulations on an amazing accomplishment, he said. You should be proud of all that you have achieved to this point in your young lives. I want to speak directly to you briefly, because I think it is you, the women, who have had the most diabolical lies told to you. Butker then said that while some of the women in the audience may go on to lead successful careers in the world, he would venture to guess that the majority of you are most excited about your marriage and the children you will bring into this world. Harrison claimed that his wife, Isabel Butker, would be the first to say that her life truly started when she began living her vocation as a wife and as a mother. He added that homemaker is one of the most important titles of all. The football player also took aim at the LGBTQIA community and Pride Month, praising the true God-centered pride that is cooperation with the Holy Ghost to glorify him rather than the deadly sin sort of pride that has an entire month dedicated to it. Harrison's eyebrow-raising comments have prompted stars, including Marin Morris, to speak out against him. Keep scrolling to see all the celebrity reactions. The singer invoked a popular social trend when sharing a clip of Harrison's speech via her Instagram story on Wednesday, May 15. I choose the bear, she wrote, referring to a trend where women state whether they would rather encounter a bear or a man alone in the woods. Sounds like some players need to stay in their lanes and shouldn't be giving commencement speeches. The rapper wrote via X on Tuesday, May 14. The tweet referenced a specific moment from Harrison's address. I never envisioned myself nor wanted to have this sort of a platform, but God has given it to me so I have no other choice but to embrace it and preach more hard truths about accepting your lane and staying in it, he said. The former Kansas City Commissioner, who was chair of Kansas City's LGBTQ Commission from 2021 until 2024, took to X on May 14 to address the Chiefs players' remarks. Harrison Butker doesn't represent Kansas City, nor has he ever. Kansas City has always been a place that welcomes, affirms, and embraces our LGBTQ community members. Rainbow, he wrote. In a subsequent tweet, Horn commented on Harrison's advice to the male graduates to be unapologetic in your masculinity and do hard things without settling for the easy path. I can speak on this because I have two 6 a.m. SHAA football championship rings here in Missouri but being the kicker for a football team isn't exactly the toughest position out there, Horn wrote. He's going on about masculinity while being a player that can't be touched, it's funny. The gun violence prevention activist, who co-founded Every Town for Gun Safety, criticized Harrison for neglecting to mention the shooting that occurred at the Chiefs' Super Bowl victory parade in February. Kansas City Chiefs kicker Harrison Butker's speech at Benedictine College railed against abortion, IVF, surrogacy, euthanasia, LGBTQ, and liberated women, but it didn't mention the gun violence that killed a fan at the Super Bowl parade, Watts wrote via X on May 15. Gun extremism is part of this religion. The NFL senior vice president and chief diversity inclusion officer reacted via a written statement to people on May 15. Harrison Butker gave a speech in his personal capacity, Bean said. His views are not those of the NFL as an organization. The NFL is steadfast in our commitment to inclusion, which only makes our league stronger. Hey at NFL, if you want to continue to grow your female fan base and any other marginalized group, straight white men are already watching your product, come get your boy, the journalist and former sportscaster wrote via X on May 14 alongside an article about Harrison's speech. Who is, Harrison, to tell us? Bush Hager asked during Today with Hoda Jenna on May 16. Copy added, don't speak for us. I think that's kind of the thing. Stop speaking for women out there, B.